gonna lie, I feel a little bit like a cranberry today and I'm 100% okay with it. <laughs> this cranberry look today with the shirt, the eyes, the lips. But today's video is actually going to be a tutorial on this look that I'm doing right now. If you guys know me, you know that I don't usually step out of the whole neutral everyday makeup type of look. I like to stick with products that I know are going to flatter my face shape, my skin tone, and generally I just find that's a more simple natural look. Today I'm actually going to be using a bunch of products from a very new and exciting brand called Stellar. It's actually a Canadian brand, so shout out to all the awesome Canadians out there doing big things. I respect you. This video is not sponsored, but I was sent these products, so I'm keeping it real with you guys because I don't want you guys to think it's sketchy or anything because I'm genuinely very in love with this brand. These are some of the boxes from the stuff that I unboxed already, but it's just such cute packaging. This brand can also be found at Sephora, online, and in stores, so what I really like about this brand is that it focuses on products that are going to enhance your natural features and just make you feel a little bit more flawless. And there are so many different foundation shades. A lot of the colors are very complementary to a very wide range of skin tones and you guys know you've seen my videos before I'm more on like the light to medium skin tone shade So I actually picked up my foundation online and I was a little bit skeptical about how it would turn out on my face But <laughs> thankfully it was like an exact color match So I'm very pleased with how it turned out and I'm very excited to show you guys how these products all went on because they were super smooth and easy to use which I feel like is the most important thing when you're using makeup and I feel pretty darn cute right now not gonna lie it's a very fall look that I went for for today because I feel like that's just fitting we're in the season of fall people are generally leaning towards more warmer tones I'm gonna get into the tutorial and I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for you guys so you can see every little detail that I put into my face today so I hope you guys enjoy it well let's get started so starting things off with foundation I picked mine up in the shade s03 which as I already mentioned was a total random well, semi-random, semi-educated guess on my behalf because I ordered it online. And as you guys can see, it's a pretty darn decent match. I would say the coverage of this foundation is around a light to medium. You can still see my breakthroughs peeking through, which I don't really actually mind because it's a nice, I'd say, mid-dewy, not super dewy, but a little bit dewy of a finish and I'm very into that. So overall, I feel like it blended out really nicely and super easy on my face. So the concealer I decided to pick up in the light shade and as you guys can see it's still pretty dark and definitely more on the orangey peachier side but overall it did blend out pretty nicely. It had a good amount of coverage and the color surprisingly wasn't as deep when I blended it out with a beauty sponge so just keep that in mind. It's definitely not a super brightening concealer but it did a good job at covering those dark circles. So now moving on to the face sculptor palette i believe this came in two shades and i picked the lighter version i'm just starting off with the bronzer which has a tiny bit of shimmer but i really like the consistency of this bronzer because it's super creamy and can be layered on to give you the amount of pigmentation that you desire so as you guys can see here i'm just slightly contouring adding some blush just a regular blush that i always use i didn't have one from stellar so this is just a rosy colored blush and then I'm going to go back in with that Sculptor palette and highlight. Do you guys see this highlight? It's become my new favorite obsession for highlighting. I generally mix the two shades together and look at that glow. We're going in with the Magnetic Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Solar. And I'm just taking this whitey, just kind of beige, neutral matte base and, you know, packing that down so all the colors are going to show up extremely pigmented and vibrant i'm then going in with this shade it's a matte brown it kind of reminds me of my bronzer shade and running that through the crease you guys know i love using shades like this in my crease just to kind of define everything and create a nice transitioning base for all the other shadows so I'm blending, 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 and then I'm going to go in with a deeper brown shade, still matte, and just kind of focus that on the outer corner to define things and make it a little bit smokier. You could totally skip this step if you want to make it more daytime and not as deep and dark. So now I'm using my finger and taking this really bright pinkish cranberry shade. It's definitely metallic. It's vibrant. I love it. It's perfect for fall, and I'm trying to create a halo-looking eye here so i'm going to add the gold shade into the middle to just give it that dimension and shape that we're looking for make it really look very sunsetty and halo-esque i guess you could say so as you guys will see here it takes many steps i'm going back in with the pink and the gold just making sure everything is equal and balanced and how i want it to be 
So then I'm going to take that same light gold shade and pat it into my inner corners for some pop. And then I'm taking that matte brown shade or the mixture of the two matte brown shades and dragging that along the lower lash line to tie things all together. So now I'm going in with their liquid felt tip liner, which honestly, guys, I never do my liner on camera because I'm so nervous, but this went on super smoothly, extremely pigmented. I'm obsessed. I found a new favorite. So I have on a classic mauve lipstick shade, and to top it off, I'm using the Stardust Lip Powder Palette, which is a really cool concept. It almost looks like a little trio of eyeshadows, but it's actually powders that kind of enhance the shape and look of your lips so this is the final look guys i hope you enjoyed it definitely leave me your feedback down below drop it a like i don't think that made sense but give it a like if you want to see more beauty videos and everything's going to be linked down below for you guys this is really embarrassing i'm like attempting to wink and it's not working it's not cute so we're going to wrap things up i love you all thank you so much thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next one Mwah. Ta -ta. <laughs>